So the uh, Korean government stimulus plans unveiled today. Government spending would increase by 11.4 billion U.S. dollars, and another 28 billion would be available to small and medium-sized companies through loans and other financial support. And that's just uh, one of the many measures announced by the new economic team today. Dr. Kim Byung-ji joins me live uh, to take a closer look. Uh, so, Dr. Kim, uh, several different actions announced today to boost uh, the sluggish economy. Which among them would you say deserves the most attention? I think the measures announced to design to boost the overall, econ uh, the overall demand at home, I think that was uh, quite interesting. Even though we were hearing the ideas for the last few days, such as the uh, tax incentives and also uh, you know, different designs for uh, taxing corporations uh, you know, for those who are not increasing the wages or increasing dividends and also uh, not active in investment. So those uh, corporations who are going aggressively on uh, raising the rates and then increasing the dividend and then you know, increasing the investment as a whole, uh, they will enjoy the benefits. I think those measures were quite creative in a way and uh, noticeable. The overall, the whole picture, I have to say, if we take the, all the numbers at their face value, I think it's a pretty much heavy dose, 41 trillion won additional uh, injection, or uh, that's what they claim, into the economy in the form of like a 11.4 trillion won extra spending, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. and also other 29 trillion won uh, being uh, put into the economy in the form of lending. So heavy dose overall, and then very broad fronts. As you mentioned, the list is very long. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of items for action. So uh, comprehensiveness of the package itself is uh, something that really uh, attracts our attention. And these, uh, you know, uh, a broad range of actions were summarized into three groups, stimulation, and then helping the ordinary citizens for their daily lives, improving their life quality, and also, uh, I wouldn't call it reform, but overall, what's the best way? Innovating the structure of the economy. Mm -hmm. The thing is, however, the, the list is long, the, the DOS is pretty heavy in terms of numbers and all that, but personally, I don't find uh, you know, that many are very meaningful, significant actions. Uh, the quantity, I think, uh, shows, more, uh, sh shows more impressive side that, rather than the quality itself. Right, so quantity taking over quality in terms of uh, this set of measures. Mm -hmm. Now, this announcement came out uh, with uh, the revised growth forecast, so the government lowering the nation's uh, growth outlook for this year right. uh, to 3.7%, and this is really not a number that uh, has surprised many. I don't think so, yeah. Uh, because the Bank of Korea has uh, previously already uh, revised their, their number downwards from, uh, you know, the over 4% down to like 3.8%, so 3.7%, the government figured yourself is not surprising at all. And a lot of critics and skeptics were saying, well, this downward re revision was necessary no matter what was happening because initial projection uh, was too ambitious, uh, mm -hmm. you know, over 4% growth itself. 4.1%. Yeah. And considering the overall potential, growth potential for the national economy, they were saying there was a little bit of too ambitious anyway to begin with. But however, government this time uh, emphasized the, uh, the variables for the second half of this year, including the oil price, uh, likelihood of oil price to go up, and also the uh, further strengthening of one. Mm -hmm. So uh, Korea being such an externally, uh, you know, the, the trade dependent economy, they were saying these kind of uh, variables will make a, uh, a negative impact on the economy. Again, no surprise there. Uh, what I noticed that was quite interesting was their projection on the consumption and the inflation. Uh, consumption, even though I think the numbers are reasonably st strong, mean, I, I emphasize reasonably here, taking account of the uh, sinking of uh, Seoul Ferry and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff, still I think it's reasonably strong, but government seems to be a little bit uh, you know, uh, pessimistic about that front. And the inflation, I think they were overly optimistic, uh, keeping that uh, you know, keeping their position that inflation will not be very significant. So those two points, I think, will be further disputed down the road. Now, um, what we're noticing here, it seems like there are many tax benefits and incentives mm -hmm. in this uh, set of stimulus package. Now, should shouldn't we be concerned about the nation's fiscal health overall? I think the uh, the reaction from the economists uh, could be best summed uh, in the form of uh, skepticism about the fiscal. 
uh, future now. Even though Korea has a very strong uh, fiscal structure, fiscal, fiscal health at this point, they're saying, well, we just have uh, found out that uh, you know, there is a big time uh, tax revenue shortage for this year. Originally, the tax revenue this year was uh, projected to be 216 trillion won, but now government has revised its forecast for the tax revenue down to 208 trillion won. So there is 8.5 trillion won shortage in terms of tax revenue. So when government, uh, government announces this kind of ambitious increase in spending, uh, they're saying, well, what are we going to do about the overall fiscal uh, balance? So that's another big question. And, uh, you know, at the National Assembly, we saw mixed responses uh, to today's announcement. Right, right, indeed. Uh, both, I think, the ruling party and then uh, opposition party side, they uh, expressed caution. They are saying uh, even the ruling party members, such as uh, Na Sang Nin, uh, leading party member of the Finance Committee at the National Assembly, he said, well, all these ideas sound pretty good, but we have to be very cautious about it because there seems to be a, a slight lack of consensus about the overall status of the economy. I think that's uh, what we were talking about before, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the previous days here. And also, opposition party said, oh, you know, boosting the economy is always a good idea. However, we have to keep in mind the overall health and the balance of the fiscal structure here in for the Korean government. So looks like the reaction, at least uh, from the National Assembly so far, has been quite reserved. Right. Um, and I think uh, because it's so massive in quantity, mm -hmm. we'll have to, it will take some time for all of us to, you know, go through it and you know, break it down to uh, study it and then really understand whether it's just a uh, full of talk or whether it is really meaningful action that they have unveiled. Absolutely. I agree with all that. All right. Dr. Mm -hmm. Kim Byung-ju, thank you so much for today. Thanks.